For nearly three months since the first eruption, explosions and earthquakes happened every day. Rivers of molten rock and large ash plumes containing toxic gases were also formed as a result of the eruption. The Cumbre Vieja volcano on La Palma Island, Canary Islands, Spain, first erupted on September 19, 2021. Rivers of molten rock and large lumps of ash containing toxic gases were also formed as a result of the eruption. But finally, the Cumbre Viedra mountain fell silent on Monday 13-12 night. This makes residents on the island of La Palma hope that the volcanic eruption will actually end on Wednesday. Scientists say the 36-hour silence of volcanic activity may signal the beginning of the end of the eruption. However, scientists will not rule out the possibility of a revival of volcanic activity. Previously, the mountain had subsided before finally erupting again with new strength. But scientists assess the situation this time differently. We can't be 100% sure, because the volcano has played a few tricks over the last few weeks. Valentin Troll, a geologist at Sweden's Uppsala University and co-author of the Canary Islands Geological Study, told the Associated Press. But now many parameters have receded, and I think the volcano is indeed going down now. Meanwhile, the Canary Islands government said that volcanic activity was now almost non-existent. On Wednesday morning, wisps of white smoke could be seen billowing from the crater of the mountain. As the eruption had subsided, Scientists ventured to the rim of the crater to take gas readings up close for the first time in three months. According to volcanologist and spokeswoman for Spain's National Geographic Institute, Maria José Blanco, sustained low levels of activity would have to be observed for 10 days for scientists to officially declare the end of the eruption. On the other hand, the eruption of Mount Cumbre Viedra this time is the longest on record in La Palma and has become a milestone for the islanders. Many of the island's residents make a living from agriculture and tourism, considering that the Canary Islands are a popular tourist destination due to its cool cl climate. Luckily there were no injuries or deaths directly related to the volcanic eruption in La Palma. Most of the residents have also resumed life as usual on the island. It's just that several thousand people were forced to leave their homes and farms as they were swallowed by the lava and parts of the southwest flank of La Palma were badly damaged. Some local residents are relieved by the weakening of volcanic activity. However, they are also frustrated by the government's promises of aid which have failed to materialize. Being able to see the sun properly for the first time in almost three months, sleep at night without vibrations, completely changed the picture says Francisco Javier Lopez, a 61-year-old Todoc villager. But the future remains bleak.